right, here we go. We are going to do a Butthole Surfers video. This t-shirt is a reprint of this t-shirt, which I got at Castaic Lake when they played with Stone Temple Pilots, I think. So this is the original. of this. All right, here we go. This Butthole Surfers video is going to be from what I don't think is the best to what I think is life-changing. So here we go, because we got a lot to go through. Because this is the Butthole Surfers, and there's just so much in their catalog. Okay, we're going to start with things I don't like. Just things that didn't move me. And here we go. This thing. This hard to find, expensive, due to resale stuff, which I think um, any profit from a product you know, that's from an artist should go to the artist, not to some guy who bought it early. There's the record. So the whole flipping and, and raising the price on something because it's rare, I'm all for that. But any profit you make from that, send it to the artist. You know, the dudes and women who created it. Anyway, this is Butthole Surfer's Weird Revolution. This album has one good song on it and one good song only. And that song is... Let's read. They Came In. They Came In is a great song. That's where this thing ends. I guess there was a prior recording of this, which I guess was better, but since it doesn't exist, you know, in a format that, you know, you could obtain, it, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is horrible. And here is the tour book from it that they gave to the band, telling them their schedule, their itinerary, um, and it tells all the shows from day to day, appearances, um, and each band member would get one of these things and it would tell them what to do <laughs> first thing in the morning. Um, Chicago, Portland, Oregon, Atlanta, Providence, Detroit, um, a little calendar telling them where they're going to be going. And this is from the 2001 Fall Tour of America of the Butthole Surfers Weird Revolution um, album promotion that was just, ugh. I don't know why they made that thing. But it doesn't matter. Let's move on. This is the 10-inch single of the song Pepper. This record has the song Pepper on it twice. The song Pepper is not very inspiring if you're an old Butthole Surfers fan. But here it is anyway. Okay, this one is a picture disc. 7 inch of The Lord is a Monkey and The Good King Wenceslas. This thing looks great. Sounds not great. It's just no fun. This thing is no fun to listen to. Anyway. Okay, th this record isn't like, it shouldn't even belong in the worst or best, because it's a band called Mastodon, and it has Gibby Haynes singing on one track on this thing, and the song is really good. And I added it just because Gibby Haynes is singing on one track. It's, it's worth buying. It's actually not bad. Um, the song's good. I don't know why it's low in the stack. It just ended up that way. Okay. This is a 7-inch bootleg, and this one has Blind Man, E-D-G, 
and on the flip side, Nini. This is the Peel Show 1988 on Stick a Pig Records. And that's what the whole cover looks like. Anyway, this is good. It's not the greatest Butthole Surfers bootleg, but it's okay. It's, I guess, strange enough. Um, here is the P-I-O-U-H-G-D record. Um, uh, this one just is not the greatest thing they ever did. And this is the copy that has both records. This is like a dance mix of, geez, I don't even know what song. Um, I think Revolution, but I'm not sure. Anyway, dance mix, the record, it's, it's got two good songs on it. It has no I Am Iron Man, that one's pretty funny. Um, and it has PSY. So, No I Am Iron Man and PSY are the songs that you'd want to buy this thing for. And I bought this one at Green Hell Records in Hollywood, California, a long time ago. Okay, this is Electric Larry Land. And this one has, uh, it's probably got like six good songs on it uh, for a double LP. And the, um, look, here we go. The fourth side is an etching type situation on this. And this album isn't bad, it just doesn't have anything weird on it. It's just kind of, you know, either rocking out or, or kind of smooth. But it isn't weird, like it should be. Um, the song Birds and Cough Syrup are really, really good. And then the rest are, you know, they are what they are. But Birds and Cough Syrup are the two songs that you'd want to buy this thing for. Alrighty. Here is the Widow, Widower Maker. This is the Widow, the Widow, the Widower Maker. That's hard to say. 10 inch. And this thing's good. This is a good Butthole Surfers record. I dig it. Um, this is the copy that has this little fold out of tiny pictures of them at the reading festival, which with this as a, I guess an idea for a fold out, I probably wouldn't have done it because the pictures are, you know, they're just so small. Anyway, this is a fun little record. It's definitely not something that's going to change your life, but it's fun. It's worth buying. All right, now we get to the Humpty Dumpty LSD. And this is an outtakes record. And th this thing kind of lets you know that the butthole surfers, when they were making their choices, made the right choices. So this record, excuse me. This record shows you that the Butthole Surfers on the releases that you know and love made the right choices. Because the this record is outtakes from those sessions. And these are, you know, they're fun to listen to, but they're, you can understand why they chose to leave them out. All right, here we go. This is a bootleg called Casarero. Una mujer que Dios a luz tres niños. And this is an outtakes record and a live record. Um, the reason why you'd want this thing 
is the version of uh, where is it American Woman which came with the original VHS of a brown side sorry <laughs> of brown eye sees all anyway um, the second reason aside from the American Woman song is this thing has a few songs from the PCP pep I guess show uh, that's not on the PCP pep record and that's the reason to get this thing is to hear the songs left off and to hear Gibby saying everybody to get out and he's making fun of people anyway let's move on this is the butthole surfers the Waco kid live in Detroit this one has dead which is the hundred uh, million people dead and holy man and this is from Texas Showdown Records Germany and this is a good little um, live bootleg not the best not gonna change your life any but definitely worth picking up if they don't want more than ten bucks here's another bootleg and this is a bootleg from the compilation from the lips of death um, Texas bands that were hip at the time and hip today. Um, this one has I Hate My Job and A Hundred Million Dead. And that's what the vinyl looks like. And this is another one. Under ten bucks, it's worth buying. Okay, this is another Butthole Surfers bootleg. And like I said, I'm doing these in order of, you know, which ones I enjoy more. And this one, I have no idea what it's called. Mahung? I guess it's the Mahung bootleg. This is what the little record looks like. And this thing has, I think, it's been a while since I listened to it, um, I think it has a version of Johnny Smokes on it that's kind of strange. And that would be the reason to buy it. It's two songs, and again, under 10 bucks, the Mahung bootleg is worth picking up. Okay, here's this baby. Butthole Surfers, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one on the A side has come together. I think that's a cover song. Um, Berlin 1985 and then Cherub which is a song off their first full-length LP Amsterdam 1986 and the reason why you'd want to pick this thing up is their version their live version of Cherub it's really good and the quality on all these bootlegs even this one I would give a B plus Okay, here we go. Next is Independent Worm Saloon, autographed by bass player Jeff Pincus. And this thing is just a rock and roll record. It's a really, really good, crazy rock and roll record, but there's just nothing strange about it. Strange is left off of this thing, and this is just straightforward. Um, crazy rock out. I love this record, uh, but when you're comparing it to their early stuff, it's it ain't the same. They, they have changed on this one. Just like the, um, I guess, the PO'd record that I showed before, they have changed. It doesn't mean you shouldn't buy this thing. It just means it's not PCB pep. Okay, this is the um, little promo 10-inch that went with the record I just showed you. And this one is called Butthole Surfers. I don't know. Just Butthole Surfers. It has Gandhi and Nini, um, the same songs from that um, little bootleg. And then it has Chew and George Lucas Chocolate, which is a good song. And then it's got Goofy's Concern, which is a good song. And then it has Beat the Press. 
The song Beat the Press. Well, it's not a song. Anyway, um, the track Beat the Press on this thing is the reason why you'd want to buy it. This thing is affordable. They made a lot of them. And the Beat the Press, well, I'm, I'm just not going to even tell you about it. Uh, you'll have to buy this thing to find out what that is, but it is Horribly magical. Yeah, there you go. That's how to describe it horribly Magical beat the press on this 10 inch and Again, you can pick that up for cheap. Okay, this is the Cream corn from the socket of Davis record. This one is great. This is definitely worth buying. This is the European version. And this is the American version. Same songs, same recording, same takes, everything. Just different album covers. Um, this thing is interesting. It's weird. And it's okay. All right. Let's move these things on up. This is the Rembrandt Pussy Horse record. Now, this thing is just a little bit better than the one I just showed you, even though these were probably the same re recording um, sessions, like within the same year. So this thing and the thing I just showed you probably could have gone together. And this is the European version. Here's the American version. And this thing is just a definite must-have. Um, you'll end up listening to this thing for the rest of your life. It's wonderful. Okay, this 7-inch is from the P.O.'d record. This is the um, one side, Hurdy Gurdy Man. Side 2, Barking Dogs. Uh, the reason why this one beats out those two that are just the best, the Rembrandt Pussy Horse and the Cream Corn of Davis, is the flip side Barking Dogs. Um, strange, memorable, horrible, and very butthole surfers like. There's the record. Um, I got this thing from Rick Adams in Goldendale, Washington. He just gave me this record and I am forever indebted to him. Anyway, this is worth buying for the flip side. The flip side song is out of sight. Okay, this is a compilation record called Smack My Crack. It has William S. Burroughs, Tom Waits, The Swans, Nick Cave. It also has one song on it by the Butthole Surfers. That song, I think it's called, Bo yeah, Boiled Dove. It's a four minute and 30 second song. It is there's a picture of the butthole servers on the inner jacket. It's out of sight. The song Boiled Dove is a pleasure to hear when taking a chance on this comp. Plus, the other artists are good, too. All right. This is the butthole surfers. Um... I guess live, bootleg, double live album that they put out themselves on Latino Buggerville Records. And this thing is really good. It's not the best thing they've ever done. Uh, but is it worth 50 bucks? Yes. This is a $50 record. This thing is worth the money. Especially if you can get it with this little book type thing that came with it. Oh, had that upside down. Anyway, here's the little book type thing that's supposed to come with it. And this thing is great. Now here's the problem with this thing. I have the cassette version of it, and the cassette version of this release has more songs. Almost like a whole side, a whole vinyl record side of extra songs. And the fact that this thing left them out is the reason why I'm kind of mad at it, even though I adore this record. 
Okay, this is the Melvins and the Butthole Surfers. And the reason why this thing is involved in this review is... Geez, that's really in there. Wow. Dang, this thing doesn't want to come out. I'll have to cut the sides of this so it comes out easier. Is this. This has three songs on it that are missing from this. So if you want a little more of this, you'll have to buy this thing. Because this thing gives you a little more of that. I'm not even going to attempt to put this thing back in. I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, here we go. This is Hairway to Steven. This is a wonderful record. It's interesting. Um, it's, it's not scary strange. It's just strange and interesting. Here's the poster that came in the album or the copy that I bought in the record store a long time ago. not folding right and now it is <laughs> anyway this record is just the best is there anything else over the years I collect things that pertain to a certain record and I stick them in the jacket so you always got to look anyway this is a great record it's interesting it's fun it has memorable songs on it and it is weird And here is the Newberry exclusive clear vinyl version of it. Same record. Vinyl looks different, that's all. Okay, let's get to the end of this business. This is Locust Abortion Technician by the Butthole Surfers. Um, the, a lot of people would think that this would be number one, and it should be. This should be number one. This thing is out of sight. Just crazy out of sight. Words cannot describe... Oh, uh, this is the green and white swirls copy. Um, words can't explain how out of sight and wonderful this record is. But I'm sure anybody watching this video already knows about this thing. And here's the 10 inch version of it. Red vinyl. With the um, little hype sticker new album coming in 2018. Let's not speak of that. Okay, and this came with the overpriced, um, not worth it, Butthole Surfers book. This is a Flexi. Uh, that I guess was supposed to be the B-side of a single that came from the Locust Abortion Technician album, which never happened. And what this is, is kind of um, outtakes from songs from that, and they're like overlaid, and it's wonderful. This is, this is great. I really like this. It's as good as Barking Dogs. In fact, I should have had the Barking Dogs record right next to this one. No flip side. And the song on this is Locust Abortion Technician Melody. There you go. The only way to get this um, is to buy that book. Anyway, let's not go into that. Okay, here is Psychic Powerless Another Man's Sack. Uh, this is the Butt Old Surfer's first record, you know, first full length. And this thing's out of sight. Out of sight, um, you just ended up being obsessed with this thing. And this is just the greatest thing ever. Um, it's it's a much better than what I've shown. 
as far as capturing your imagination and making you wonder why. Here's the European version of it, different cover, but it's the same record. Okay, here we go. On to live PCP Pep. Um, this record and the first record are, they're kind of the same record. Uh, this thing, words can't describe how good it is. And that's all there is to it. This thing is not good, it's not bad, it just is. Um, kind of like the Dead Kennedys' first record. It just is. Uh, it's everything. And this is the black and green swirl vinyl. And this is just the regular one. And these are songs played live or recorded live at the Meridian in San Antonio. And it was engineered by Todd. Alternative Tentacles record. This thing is wildly available. It's not expensive. And it just is. It's just I don't know what to say about it. It is. Here's another one. This is the um, Brown Reason to Live. And this one is the, I guess, the gray and black vinyl copy of this record that... Jeez, what's in here? Some little poster. Okay. Alternative Tentacles, Subterranean Records. It's a little poster that came with it when I bought it at the record store. I didn't buy it brand new, so I don't know what this thing is. It looks like a little advertisement that was stuck to a window. Anyway, this very first Butthole Surfers EP is unbelievable. Again, you can't say it's good, you can't say it's bad, it just is, and it is forever. And you'll lose friends over this thing, and that's what makes you know that a record is worth your time, is when friends walk away from you once you put this on instead of ACDC. Okay, last one. This is the best one. I'm sorry it wasn't that one. It should have been that one. And then this thing came along. Here we go. This is a bootleg. It's Butthole Surfer Soiled. On this bootleg it has the Shaw Sleeps and Lee Harvey's Grave, Johnny Smoke, and Moving to Florida. And this was recorded in the Amsterdam. Um, Paradiso, May 10th, 1986. Here's what the little record looks like. And the reason why this is the best one, the one out of all of them I would fight the hardest to keep, is the version of Johnny Smoke. The version of Johnny Smoke on this should have been on the Hairway to Stephen album because both versions, Hairway to Steven and this one, are live recordings. This is the one they should have used, but this one was probably recorded later, so they couldn't have used it. Anyway, it's out of sight. It's just um, the best thing you've ever heard. And there's another song on this one that's equally as good, and which makes this one the best one ever. And it's the Moving to Florida. The version of Moving to Florida on this thing will make you hate the version of Moving to Florida on the other one, which I think is the Rembrandt Pussy Horse. No, no, the Socket to Davis. I don't know which one. But one of those two records, which is actually kind of the same release, um, <coughs> excuse me, this one will make you hate that recording. That's how good it is. Anyway, number one is soiled of the butthole surfers from 
worst to best. And to finish off this video, I am going to show this record, which has nothing to do with the butthole surfers. This is Focus Live at the Rainbow. Focus was a band in the early 70s, and they were just a regular rock band, a slow rock band. Nothing special about these guys at all, except for the song Hocus Pocus, which I, uh, I'll try to leave a link in this video, which I really don't know how to do that. Anyway, um, Hocus Pocus by Focus, the Midnight Special. Throw that into the bar on, or the type bar on YouTube and you will see something out of sight. <clears throat> the song Hocus Pocus by Focus is the craziest, most exciting song you've heard in a long time. So this record again, picked up for cheap. You can get this thing and, <clears throat> excuse me, the Hocus Pocus song is worth like the four or five dollar price you pay for this record. I just, it's a great song. Okay, that's the end of this video. <sighs> um, records haven't arrived yet for my field trip video, but as soon as they show up, I'll make that field trip and it's gonna be fun. Until then, repressing original and this shirt was bought at the castaic lake show okay goodbye